Hi Sunshine Fam! Welcome back to another Presidential Highlights video. Uh, today we are talking about John Fitzgerald Kennedy, or who we know as JFK. Here is a picture of him. Of course, everybody knows what he looks like because he is the most controversial president. And a lot of turmoil happened during his presidency, so let's just jump right into it. For those of you who are new, my name is Chloe. Uh, welcome to my channel. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button below and the notification bell. I do presidential highlight videos as well as Adventures with Chloe videos where I go out and show you different areas around where I live. So uh, this is one of the presidential highlight videos and we're zooming right along. So we're at president number 35. He served from 1961 to 1963 and his vice president was Lyndon B. Johnson. So, 1961, January 20th, Kennedy was inaugurated. And, of course, most of us know the famous line from his speech, which, uh, his inauguration speech, which was, Ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. And I really think that we should still employ that rule. March 1st, Temporary Peace Corps created. Uh, he asks Congress to authorize a program to, the program to be permanent, Sergeant Shiver heads the organization. April 12th, Yuri Gagarin for, was the first man in space. He was a Ru Russian cosmonaut, and for those of you who have ever seen the movie The Hunt for Red October, he is mentioned in that. Uh, Sean Connery's character mentions him. Um, it was, it started the space race between the U.S. and Russia. So, of course, we lost the first man in space. April 17th, the Bay of Pigs. Now, we all probably have heard about that, but I didn't really know much about it until I did a little bit of research. So, there was a brigade of 1,500 Cuban exiles that landed at the Bahia de Cochinos, or the Bay of Pigs, in South Cuba. The operation failed miserably. Uh, the attempt, it was an attempt to overthrow Fidel Castro. He was a very bad man. Uh, the liberals, Ch uh, liberals Chester Bowles, Arthur Schlesinger Jr., and John Kenneth Galbraith warned against it, warned against doing that, and some exiles were killed and many were captured. It was known as the first failure Kennedy ever made. May 4th, first freedom ride. During segregation, black and white youths for, uh, made the first freedom ride from Washington, D.C. to New Orleans, Louisiana on buses. Uh, it, uh, it was supported by Congress of, of, by the Congress of Racial Equality, or CORE, as, as it was known. Uh, they were met by supporters of segregation and attacked by force, even by the police. It became a success of racial injustice later. May 5th, American in space. Alan Shepard was the first American in space and he was from New Hampshire. He later walked on the moon. He wasn't the first man on the moon, of course, but he walked on the moon. May 25th, Kennedy plans a man on the moon. He, uh, he challenged the nation to quote unquote, commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon. He seeks to start the space program and the space race, U.S. versus Russia, Sputnik, if you remember, in my, I think it was my last video that I did, was the first artificial satellite launched in 1957. And of course, as I just mentioned a few minutes ago, Yuri Gagarin was the first man in space on April 12th. Just want to make sure, because I'm not sure how long the battery has. Um, it was first meant for the military, but Kennedy wanted, wanted it to be a civilian focus. June 3rd, Kennedy meets with Khrushchev. Uh, it's, okay, Nikita S. Khrushchev, uh, they met in Vienna. Now, when I heard Nikita, I remember the song uh, by Elton John called Nikita, and I re-watched it, and I wonder if that, if that song is about Nikita Khrushchev. I don't know. Uh, but if you go back and re-watch the video, it might spark some interest in you. 
uh, co the conference fails to resolve the conflict over Berlin. So August 13th, East Germany begins the Berlin Wall. It begins construction of the wall. Since World War II, East Berlin was divided between USSR and US Britain and France. Refugees flooded into West Berlin, causing the conflict, and, that, and this begins the Cold War. 1962, January 29th, Geneva Conference adjourns. It includes the U.S., USSR, and the U.K. Now, for those of you that don't remember, um, Russia used to be called the, the Union of the Soviet Socialist Republic, and they were known as the USSR. They used to be communist, but then they broke up. I don't remember when, but I'm sure we'll get to that once we get to that president. Uh, there was no agreement on the nuclear test ban. February 3rd, it was the end of the trade with Cuba. February, February 20th, John Glenn orbits the Earth. He becomes the first American aboard the Mercury craft Friendship. The flight was five hours. It orbited three times and it landed safely in the Atlantic. February 26th, segregation in transportation is considered unconstitutional, ruled by the U.S. Supreme Court. March 7th, Kennedy reduces the import duties. Uh, it was part of the agreement to promote international trade. June 15th, Tom Hayden, or Hayden promotes the quote-unquote Port Huron Statement. statement. It was presented to the Annual Convention of Students for a Democratic Society, or SDS. September 30th, James Meredith desegregates the University of Mississippi. He was the first black allowed to, into, all, into an all-white college led by the U.S. Marshals. Uh, he had applied in early 1962, but was reje rejected due to the race. He then sued the University of Mississippi, and on September 13th, he, uh, let's see, he sued the University of Mississippi on September 13th in the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals, and they overturned the rejection. It was, he was met by angry mobsters, and it led to a riot, which Kennedy intervened in. October 16th, missiles in Cuba. Cuba uh, Kennedy told, was told of Soviet missiles inside of Cuba. October 22nd, Kennedy announces the Cuban Missile Crisis. Now, I'm sure you guys have heard about this, too, but I didn't know much about it. So, on October 14th, a U-2 surveillance plane photographed missile sites being built in Cuba by the USSR. Kennedy, Theodore Sorensen, and Robert Kennedy, his brother, called a meeting called the group, or the group was called the Executive Committee, or XCOM. Uh, they placed a, a blockade, or what they wanted to call a quarantine, around Cuba to prevent more nuclear weapons from entering Cuba. On October 24th, 25 Soviet ships, sorry, I can't read my writing sometimes. 25 Soviet ships came close to the blockade, but turned around and left. That was the closest that U.S. and USSR came to nuclear war. On November 29th, the blockade left after the USSR dismantled the launch site, which I then write about in <laughs> two, two, two dates down. Okay, so October 28th, Cuban Missile Crisis was resolved. Total of total days was 13. U.S. removes the missiles from Turkey while the USSR leaves Cuba, because apparently we had missiles in, in Turkey. So November 29th, the Cuban blockade was lifted. 1963, March 18th, Gideon versus Wainwright. The U.S. Supreme Court rules that states must allow counsel in criminal cases for people who can't afford it. April 3rd, Brigham Campaign begins. The SCLC, along with Martin Luther King Jr., begins the change in efforts being made by black Americans to integrate public spaces in the city. I'm sorry, not Brigham, Birmingham. My mistake. They mean to expose violent law enforcement led by Eugene Bull Connor. 
It lasted over a month and became successful changing the discrimination laws. Now, I apologize for not being politically correct in saying African Americans. I'm just writing it the way I'm getting it from the website. June 10th, Kennedy gives the, Amer the American University Address. In the commencement address, Kennedy talked about making peace with Russia, and he aimed to prevent the planet, or preserve the planet, for future generations. It was the first teletype, and at that time, it was the first teletype hotline made communication between U.S. and Russia possible and easier. June 12th. Medgar W. Evers, Evers was assassinated. He was the field secretary of the NAACP in Mississippi and one of the most significant activists in the civil rights movement. He was shot outside his home in Jackson, Mississippi. His wife, Mer Merle, found him, M-Y-R-L-I-E, found him. Uh, Thirty years later, the white supremacist Byron De La Beckwith was convicted on February 5th, 1994. So it took them 30 years to find the person who killed him and try him. Uh, June 26th, Kennedy declares, Ich bin ich, ich bin in Berliner. Uh, that was his famous speech, which means I am a Berliner. It meant to, de to demonstrate solidarity with Berlin. August 28th, the March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom. Now, this one will be very familiar to you. 250,000 people marched on Washington, D.C. from the Washington Monument to Lincoln Memorial. Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech was made that day, and it was meant to put pressure on Congress to pass civil rights legislation. September 15th, Birmingham church bombings kill four, kills four girls or bombing kills four, four girls. It happened at the 16th Street Baptist Church. 15 sticks of dynamite were planted by four KKK members and it blows a seven foot hole in the basement. 20 were injured. October 7th, Kennedy signs the nuclear test ban. It was a treaty with the USSR and the UK. November 1st, okay, this is a foreign name so please don't crucify me for mispronouncing it. I think it's pronounced Go Dinh Diem was assassinated. He was the South Vietnamese president and it uh, he was assassinated in the U.S. supported coup. November 12th, Kennedy was shot in Dallas. He was there to gain Democratic support in the South. Now, we all know about the Kennedy assassination. Where were you when? Uh, I wasn't even no thought at that time. Uh, it was the most uh, conspiracy theory death ever. Now, Lee Harvey Oswald was arrested but never tried. And I'll tell you about that in a second. Um, I did see a video about it. I had researched it some time ago. And some say that there were people that were hidden in a storm drain at the curb and shot D Kennedy without being seen. So like if you think of like on a street when, you know, like you'll see the storm drain go down into the curb, into the ground along the curb side, that's where they say so the, the fatal shot was, was shot from because there were some people that heard a shot below their feet that were standing on top of that storm drain on the sidewalk. So... It's still, to this day, unknown who killed Kennedy. Now, on November 24th, Jack Ruby shoots Oswald. So while Oswald is being led out of the Dallas police station to jail, Ruby jumps out of the crowd and shoots and kills Oswald. Now, Jack Ruby, there was a movie made about him. I think it was called Ruby. And he was a casino owner, I believe. I think. So... It was his, uh, Oswald was being led by the police and the shooting took place on live TV back then. So nowadays that's not uncommon, but think back in 1963. So on November 25th, Kennedy was buried at Arlington National Cemetery. So of course, on the day that he was shot, our next president, who was Lyndon Johnson, because he was the vice president, 
uh, because Kennedy hadn't served out his full first term yet, uh, he was sworn in on the plane back to Washington, D.C. with Jacqueline Kennedy beside him. So, a lot of controversy during Kennedy's time in office, you know, Cuban Missile Crisis, the Bay of Pigs, Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech, and then Kennedy getting shot. Of course, the good thing was that he started the space program, and he, he put John Glenn in space, who orbited the, the Earth three times, and then the other guy went into, into space. Um, I just read it. Sorry, senior moment. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't remember who it was. I should know. John Glenn orbits the Earth. Okay, who was the first man in space? First American? Alan Shepard. That's right. So Alan Shepard was the first American in space, and then John Glenn was the first man to orbit the Earth three times in five hours. So. Um, so that started the space program, and of course we know that that kind of fell apart with Columbia and, and the Challenger disaster, which will come up in Reagan's, was it Reagan? Yeah, Reagan. Reagan was president during Challenger and Bush Sr. or Bush Jr. was either Bush Jr. or I think it was Bush Jr., was in office when Columbia came apart. So we'll be talking about those during those two presidents' times. So thank you for joining me today and learning all about John F. Kennedy and what happened during his time in, in office. Um, so if you want any more information about any of these things, you can either comment below or you can look them up yourself, that's fine. Um, and I can give you more information um, if you want more information like the Bay of Pigs or, or the Cuban Missile Crisis or anything. Um, you can comment below and then I will leave a comment back to you. So, and thank you all for um, growing my channel as much as you have. And so with that, I'm going to say hope you guys have a sunny day and we'll see you next week for the next Presidential Highlights video, Lyndon Johnson.